Hello everyone. This hour on Verbling. The next in my getting res ooh, not getting results. No, no, no. The next in my learning through pictures series. This is let's see, part two of learning through pictures, getting around the city. Yesterday we worked on vocabulary. Today we're gonna we worked on vocabulary for things that you might see in the street and locations. So we're going to add a new skill to that. We're going to talk about features of a city and directions. So we'll be getting started with just that, with a new picture and a little bit of review of the old one in just a minute. Well, that's a bit about my class, and here's a bit about me. I'm John Eric, your verbling teacher for this hour, and I'm an American teacher from New York, hanging out from Lisbon, Portugal, bringing this class. And here are three quick rules to help you participate in my class. Don't forget to turn off tune in and open up, which means, what does it mean? Here it is. There we go. It means turn off your mic when you're not speaking. Let's try to keep the hangout as quiet as we can, because there's a lot of noise if everyone's got their mics on. Rule number two is tune in to the words that you're learning and use them as actively as you can throughout the class so that I can give you feedback. Rule three is open up to your classmates. Relax and have fun. We're all here to learn, and this is a safe, respectful place to practice your English. By the way, if you want to stay in touch, you can do just that at the end of class. I'll give you a set of links where you can follow me on Verbaling, read a tweet, talk with me on Facebook and Google+, see an old class or video on my YouTube channel, or even schedule a private class directly with me. So that's a bit about the class. Now I want to know a little bit about you. Let's see if my camera's working. My collar's sticking out. Let's fix that. Got to look better. Appearances are everything, right, Carmen? Yes, they are. Yes. I've never quite learned that lesson, but I should. Pavo, I got to see your smiling face for just a moment, and then it <laughs> disappeared. I was like, oh, that's what he really looks like, and then he disappeared. Nice to have you back, Pavel. Ah, oh, there he is again. <laughs> Hi. Look at that handsome guy. Look at him. Look at that face. A real person. Because I, I always feel like I'm talking to the wall. I don't see anyone. Let's say hello to, uh, looks like, Emma Pat. How do I say your name? Emma Pat? My name is Emmanuel. Emmanuel? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because it says Emma Pat. I don't know, I don't know what that means. Is it I, I don't know, probably it's the nickname. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, so I put many years ago. Uh, and, uh, Got it. Emmanuel. Google account. Emmanuel. Yeah. Emmanuel. Where are you from, Emmanuel? Emmanuel. Eh, I can't say your name. Where are you from, Emmanuel? <laughs> I'm, from, I'm from Italy, but I live in Netherlands. You live in the Netherlands, really? Yeah. <laughs> so oh, this is the reason that I need to improve my English. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> to survive abroad. <laughs> Mabel, what's the story? You, we can't see what you look like? S sorry? No, Mabel was putting her hand over the camera. I was just asking her why. Oh. Mabel? Uh, you, have, you have to... Un you I'm have to here. <laughs> why can't sorry? we see you? Why can't we see you? We can see Pavel. No, I'm here. I'm... I'm, I, I'm don't have the camera. I know, but you put your hand over the camera when you were coming in. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> because I'm on pyjama. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm basically, it's so cold here that I'm, I, I wear my clothes to bed, so I'm basically in my pyjamas too. <laughs> <laughs> There's no central heating in Portugal. <clears throat> all right. Let's get started. I just need a little bit of motivation. Hang on a second here. Salut. All right. John, I have a question. What's the meaning of kickoff? Kickoff is to start. Usually to start ah, okay. something festive. So oh. you 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 because kickoff comes from like sports. The hmm. kickoff is when you toss the coin and one party or the other kicks the ball first, like in football at the Super Bowl. So kickoff means the start time of the game, but metaphorically, because it's a game, it's fun. So metaphorically, kickoff is to start something in a fun or festive manner. Oh. 
Where did you see it? Uh, I I just see I just seen a mail from ah. my future boss <laughs> and tell me that we are going to kick off uh, a part of the enterprise, but I don't understand kick off. So there he means they're going to in inaugurate. Something ah, new. okay. They're gonna start something new. Uh, so either a new, a new, a new project or a new business. Ah, okay, new project. In business is in a great. Okay. And the reason they're saying kickoff is because it implies that they're gonna do it with a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of energy, and that kickoff really means to start to start something. So it's kind of a, so it's a good business word because it sounds very festive, like a, you know, positive energy. So that's why he's saying it like that. Uh, okay, thank you. There you go. So listen, you, oh, this is a little bit small. Uh, let me give you the link to the pictures. If you don't have it, you can find it here in the chat window. Oh, Yuki's got it for us. Okay, I'll delete mine. Yuki's got it for us. Click on Yuki's link. And if for some reason, if for some reason you can't see it, you can go to the Hangout chat, and I've got it for you there as well. Okay. And welcome back, former superhero, perhaps future superhero, Ahmed, from Saudi Arabia. My favorite Saudi Thai mixture. Hello, Ahmed. How are you? Doing, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, do you have the link open? I'm going to make that picture a little bit bigger on the top so that you can see it. All right. Yesterday, we worked on vocabulary, things that you would see in the street and where you would see them. Today, I would like everyone to um, take a look at the first picture. It doesn't have a number, but it's actually part of the same one. And tell me, can you tell what you're looking at? Above picture 137, above the street, can you tell what that is? 37. Yeah, above, so we're on page three. Oh, in, in unit three, we're on page three, unit three. Sorry, I'll share my screen too. You Thank know what? You. Better. Yeah, it's going to be a little small, but I'll share my screen as best I can. Let me make it bigger. Scroll down so you can see it. And. Ah, okay. There you go. Hopefully you can see it now. Okay, so you can either go to page three or you can just look at your screen. What do you think we're looking at? What are all those little boxes? Those are think? signs, I think. They are signs. That's true. And what do you think the signs represent? Because this is kind of like a map. Places. Places. I mean, school, hotels, and whatever around the city. That's right. Okay, so to learn the vocabulary or to revise the vocabulary, um, you're going you're gonna to tell me the direction. We're going to say what the thing is. So, for example, I might say to you, um, let me see. Uh-oh, answer the phone. <laughs> I might say, um, what's across from, not across, What's opposite the gas station? What's opposite the gas station? When you answer, you have to use those direction words in your answer. The blank mm -hmm. is opposite the gas station. And then you're going to add a new one. Okay? Okay. So, what's opposite the gas station? Who wants it? Do you oh. want it, Carmen? Do you want it, okay. Yuki? Who wants it? You're talking about uh, 42. Yeah, what's opposite the gas station, number 42? What's okay. opposite the gas station? Opposite the gas station, you can find uh, the mailbox. Well, Oppos I don't know if it is the mailbox. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Not a mailbox, but what do you think that symbol represents? If you're looking at a map of the city, mm -hmm. post office. What do you think? The ah, okay. The post office. Mm -hmm. Gi Giuseppe, you were tied with Yuki for the cookie in the last class. You are, you have now moved ahead. <laughs> you are now in the lead for the cookie. 
my goal I'm... is uh, over, <laughs> over, over, uh, how can I say, overwhelming Yuki. It, it, I know. I, of course, I know. <laughs> <laughs> your, Sorry, goal, <laughs> your goal is to be the new super student, the new superhero. I know. <laughs> and you're going to give him a run for his money. Yeah, it's, it's going to be tough, I think. Um, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Don't despair, Yuki. You'll have a chance. So, if I say, what's opposite the gas station, your answer is going to be, the blank is opposite the gas station. Say the whole sentence for me, Giuseppe. The? The blank uh, opposite uh, the gas station. Replace blank with the thing in 35. Okay, the, the, post, the post office opposite... Is opposite. Is opposite of uh, the gas station. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, you lost your cookie. Because I didn't say is opposite of. Uh-oh, I didn't say is opposite <laughs> of. I said is opposite. That's it. So get is rid it, of the so of. Yeah, we're going for, we're going for perfection this time. So, okay. so use your ears because these prepositions are tricky and there's no real rules I can give you. You just have to learn the pattern. So is the post office is opposite the gas station. Repeat, the post office is opposite the gas station. The post office is opposite the, the uh, gas station. Fantastic. Giuseppe, pick a number somewhere and try to use a location word. By the way, don't forget, all of your location words, if you want to ref refresh your memory, are on page uh, looks like page nine of the Learning Through Pictures document. So if you want to refresh your memory, just go to page nine. Okay, Giuseppe, okay. pick us a number and ask us a question with the location word in it. Okay, uh, 36. <clears throat> Where is the, the, the hospital? Okay, so you're, not gonna, you're gonna tell us the, the place and not the location word. Is that right? Okay. You could do it the opposite if you really want. That's okay. That means that Mabel You've got to give. You've got to give us the location words because he told you what it was. Um, the hospital is. Uh, in front of. Okay, good. In front of. In front of the. I, I don't know what is it. Forty three. <laughs> <the bar. laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Can you see that symbol? It, it's a. Uh, it looks like a. It looks like a jar with something sticking out of it, and it's uh, not—it's not really a jar, though. But it looks like a jar. Uh, what, what symbol do you often see, if, especially if you're in the city, and in, uh, it doesn't really matter what language it is. There's always this one symbol for this particular service. It's a butter. No sé. It's what? Uh, <laughs> what? I don't know. Uh, she said the loo. The bathroom? No. No. That's not a, that's not a symbol of a bathroom. What do you think that object is? What do you think that is? It's not I don't toilet. know. I don't have idea. I don't, maybe it's a... Uh, I don't know. No. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I thought it was a bathroom too. <laughs> you thought it was a bathroom? Yes. <laughs> maybe it's not clear. Hang on a second. This is number 43, right? Yes. I think it's, it's the bar. A tire? I don't know. I thought it was a... Maybe I'm crazy. I thought it was a symbol of a pharmacy. <laughs> a chemist? Why? I, I thought it was. Am I, maybe I'm crazy. Hold, hold on a second. Maybe I'm crazy. Let me just double check. Because I happen to have the answers. I'm right! I'm right! It's the symbol for the pharmacy. Is pharmacy. It? Yeah. But he, you, you can find that cross, not 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 that kind of for drawing. What, what what is that anyway? It's it's a it's a beaker with a with a mixer in it. Oh. You, you you never saw beaker? that before? Maybe that's just American. 
Can yeah. you write a beaker, the beaker? A beaker? I don't know. I could try. Because we here we got a cross, you know, a, 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 a green cross that means the chemist. Yeah, so yeah, I've yeah. Never heard that before. Beaker, but hang on a second. If I if I if I if I Google for if I Google for pharmacy in in an American in a Google.com in the GoogleImages.com, I'm just curious. Maybe that's just an American symbol. Hold on. Yeah, look, 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 look. Take a look at this. Hang on. Take a look at this. Hold on. It's going to be a little slow. Beaker? Hang on a second. Beaker? What is beaker? I, I cannot find it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a second. These hangouts are a little slow, but. Beaker, but. Can you see this image on your screen right now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'll make it bigger. See it? I've yeah. never seen that before in my entire life. <laughs> For a family. Really? Yes, okay, never. Okay. okay, it must be an American thing. I thought it was universal. Okay, I guess it's just American. It's like a cook you use when you want to. It's a it's a mortar cook. and it's a mortar and a pestle. Mortar. Yeah. Mortar and pestle. I, I said beaker and stir because I was thinking of uh, if it was made of glass, it would be a, a beaker, like a, like you use to mix chemicals. But it's actually this one you can see is is ceramic, uh, so it's a mortar and pestle which mortar. is used to crush, to crush things. So like if you're going to make pills or whatever, okay. you might have to crush up herbs and stuff and and mix them together into a powder to to turn things into a powder to make a pill. Mm -hmm. So an RX is a symbol for for pharmacy. So that's okay. I thought I, I thought it was everywhere, but I guess it's just an American thing. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. You have a green cross here. It's true. All right. So let's go back to our picture. More dark. Okay. Let's do it like this. I want you to try to guess. I want you to try to guess the names of things, and I want you to incorporate the location words. So Mabel, yeah. using your location words, pick a number and tell us the location. And we'll try to figure out what it is. So I said to Giuseppe, what's opposite the gas station? And he said, there's a post office opposite the gas station in 35. He said, where's the hospital? Which is OK, but I would have preferred, um, you know, what's across from the post office? Oh, there's a hospital across from the post office. Okay, so yeah. I'd prefer I'd prefer it like that because I want you to practice the location words and then everyone else can try to guess. Okay, so Mabel, you're doing this one for Pavel. Give us the location and let's see if Pavel can guess what it is. Okay, I'm in the 43. Okay. And you have to walk straight. It's okay. Oh wait, wait, yeah. just the location words. We'll do directions in a minute. Just the location words. Um. Using any of the location words on page nine, which can um. be. Which can be towards, from, next to, opposite, in front of, behind, over, under, across, any of those. Tell us where it is. It's across. From. From. Across from. From. Um, from the police. Okay. What's across from the police, Pavel? What's across from the police? <laughs> uh. I, I don't know what uh, what means uh, this uh, picture. Uh, it uh, uh, looks uh, like uh, glass uh, of wine. It's a martini glass. Martini glass. It's a martini glass. It's a glass with an olive in it. So where would you expect to find a martini, Pavel? I would expect to find it in police station, but that's just me. <laughs> and where, where, where else might we expect to find? That's a picture of a martini glass, and you serve cocktails in a martini glass. Where might you expect to find cocktails? In a nightclub. In a nightclub. Could be. Yeah, it could be. And and if it's not a nightclub, a pub? What else could it be? A, a pub? cocktail bar. A, a cocktail bar. bar. So, let's be clear about this. Pubs have a very specific culture. So their symbol is not going to be a t cocktail glass. 
because the culture is very specific. The pubs will have a different symbol. This is American, more American than British, so it's probably a bar. And in fact, if I look at number 50 on my list, it is bar slash cocktail lounge. Bar or cocktail lounge. So in American English, you could say both. A bar can be a nice place or it can be a rundown place. A cocktail lounge implies something classy. So Pavel, your answer is, oh, there's a bar across from the police. <laughs> Good place to have the bar. Yeah. There's a bar across from the police. Pavel, give us another one. Pick a number and just tell us where it is. Say, what's across, in, along, from, to? Give us a location. Uh, <coughs> uh, what, what is... Uh, what is across? What, what is across uh, from uh, uh, <coughs> the uh, railway uh, train or railway station? You can say either train station or railway station. Yuki, what's across from the railway station? What's across from the train station? Across the train station. Uh, across uh, from the train uh, station. Across from train station, there is a coffee shop. There is a coffee shop across from the train station. That's right. There is a coffee shop. And uh, okay. what does the P stand for? What does the P stand for? Where do you see P, Carmen? Above the the cup of tea. <laughs> the cup of coffee. <laughs> a cup of coffee? What is above it? above the cup of coffee. Hmm. P. Oh come on, Carmen. Think. Think. Ah, it's got parking there. <laughs> it's a parking lot. Right, okay, it's right. a parking lot. There's, okay, a par so sorry. there's a parking lot. There's a parking lot directly alongside of the ca the, the, the coffee shop. Okay. Or, or, or maybe you could say slightly behind the coffee shop. There's a parking lot. Mm -hmm. Yuki, give us another one. Give us a location, and Ahmed is going to try to figure it out. Uh... Uh, down, down the road. Uh, Very good. Down the road. That's a new one from yesterday. Down the road. Down, down the road. Uh, near, near the, near the coffee shop. Uh, uh, so, what's down the road near the coffee down shop? Down the road. Down the road yeah. near the coffee shop. On the, on the right side of the street. On the right side of the street, from the coffee shop. Okay. What, what that? What, what, what is there? Yeah. Is that clear, Ahmed? Did you understand? Yeah. So what do you think is that? On the right side of the street, from the coffee shop. So if we were at the cocktail lounge, and we went down the road... By the way, Yuki, it's probably better to say street if A we're street? in the city. Yeah, because it seems like a city. So streets are in the city. Down the street. Down okay. the street sounds better. So down if you go the down the street to the coffee shop, and you look on the right side of the of the street from the coffee shop, what do, what, what do we find there, Ahmed? There's a what? Ahmed, what do you think? Uh oh, I don't hear Ahmed. Ahmed. Come back, Ahmed. Oh no! Where is Ahmed? Ahmed, <laughs> Ahmed come back! What's happening? <laughs> oh no! Okay, we're gonna have to come back to Ahmed. I'll tell you what, uh, Emmanuel. Uh, <coughs> why don't you a, take this one? There's a an hairdresser. There's a hairdressers. Listen, if I say hairdressers, it's because the Apostrophe S means shop. Yeah. There's a hairdresser's shop, but you can cut out the word shop and just say there's a hairdresser's. Okay. So say the whole sentence for us with the location word. There's a... There's a hairdresser's. On the... On the, um, on the right side of the, of the street. That's it. From the coffee shop. From the coffee shop. That's it. Perfect. There's a hairdresser's on the right side of the street from the coffee shop. Okay, I think Ahmed had a had a connection problem. 
So hopefully he'll be back. Okay, give us one more, Emmanuel. Um, what's among the restaurant and, and the gas station? What's... I couldn't hear you, I'm sorry. What's... Uh, among? Among, good. What's the, among the... The restaurant mm -hmm. and the gas station? Uh, I see the gas station. I don't see any restaurants, though. I don't see any restaurants. I see a cocktail lounge. Uh, so I think it's the is uh is behind the hairdressers. Oh 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 oh, oh, oh! I see. Okay, gotcha, okay. gotcha, gotcha. Okay, even better. So what's be so Ahmed? What's behind the hairdressers? Among those various things. Not just the gas station, but kind of among the post office and uh, the cocktail lounge, but it's behind the hairdressers and not too far from the restaurant. Am I right, Emmanuel? No. Nope. It, seems, it seems like it's across the street from the restaurant. Yeah, it's across the street. So what, well, what's that, uh, Ahmed? Ahmed, is your mic working now? Uh, uh oh, I can't hear you. Uh oh. Can't hear you. No. There we go, yes. Oh. For a. I heard you for a moment. And you're gone again. Uh oh. Connection problems. Okay, well, Ahmed, when you get your mic working, just say hello. I think you're having some connection problems there. It's a little hard to hear you. We heard you for just a moment, and then you disappeared again. So, what's among all those things in the center of the town, across the street from the restaurant, Giuseppe? What's it? What is it? A park. There's a park. Where? There is a park among among the restaurants. Yeah, among the and restaurant the, and all and the, and the gas station. Fantastic. All right, I'm going to give you the rest of the words really quickly. You tell me where they are, okay? Um, where uh, Where is the block of flats? Where is the block of flats? Where is the city block, in other words? Is the city block? Yeah. Well, the city block is... Uh, is among the the train station and, and uh, the bus station forty five. I don't know what, what it is. It's um, sorry. Say that again. I'm sorry. Forty five. Don't worry about it. Forty eight is the bus station. Forty nine. Forty eight. Forty eight is uh, the bank. Forty nine. The train station. Forty. Five is probably the train station, and forty-nine is the bus station. That's a bus. Bus station. Bus station. Okay. Okay. So, one more time. Where is the city block or the block of flats? Where is it? Giuseppe, okay. One more time. The city block. The city block is uh, um, among the bus station and the bank station, and uh, to the left. We have uh, the train station. Okay. Here's the thing with among. It's okay, but among really means directly kind of in the center. So, and it's also a little bit vague. So you should use it when you don't know precisely where something is. So I could say the park is among many different kinds of businesses and features of the city. Because that's kind of a vague answer. So if you say among, you'd say, oh, the, 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 the city block is among restaurants and bus stations in that part of the city. It's okay to say it, but maybe because we know exactly where it is, you could say, how do we say, if I were going to describe it in relation to the bus station and the train station, what would I say, Giuseppe? Okay, from the... In relation to the bus... Yeah. Across to the across from bus station. Across from the bus station. The bus station. There is a, a blank block. Yeah. Blank city block. Well, not a blank city block because city blocks can't be blank. 
City block. <laughs> Just the city block. City blocks. Okay. Or between. Like. Yeah, between. Between the railroad or between the train station and the bus station, there's a city block or in British English block of flats. Okay, Ahmed, you can write in the chat window. Um, I have another one for you. Give me a second. Uh, what's one we haven't done? Uh, what is number 55? That's a good question. Uh, 55, 55. 55, exactly. Intersection. 55 is, is, an, is an intersection. That's right. 55 is an intersection. That's right. Like this. Intersection. That's right. Um, tell me something. What's the thing called where you walk from the bank to the park right at the intersection. You can't see it in the picture, but I want you to think logically. Think about your experience for a moment. What do we call the thing that we use to cross from the bank to the park right at 55? You can't see it, but it's on the street. You can't see it in this map, but it's on the street. Hmm. If we could see it, it would be right at 55. So in 55, there's probably a traffic light, but underneath the traffic light, connecting 41 to 48, yeah, there's a curb, that's true, and what connects the two curbs that allows passengers to go from one side of the street to the other? Zebra crossing? Zebra crossing in British English. What do we call it in American English? Intersection. The intersection is the thing that they cross, but the zebra is what we call it in British English. What do we call it in American English? Not a zebra. Cross road. Cross, cross road. Cross walk. Cross walk. Okay. That's walk. it. Cross walk. So U.S. English is a cross walk. In British English, it's a zebra crossing or a zebra cross, something like that. Zebra. Everyone will know what you mean. That's it. We can't see it, but it's probably there. Very good. Um, so... You can't see it in the picture, but there's a curb, there's a traffic light, there's a street with two Carmen. What does the street have? Two Carmen, what does the street have? Two Carmen, what does the street have? Two I don't know what you mean, sorry. Not two divisions, but two Just that walk. The street is divided into two parts. Mm -hmm. Traffic goes one way and traffic goes the other way. So it's mm -hmm. divided into lanes. Two, two lanes mm -hmm. from yesterday. That's it. Ahmed got it right too. Two lanes. That's it. Let's see if I've missed anything else. Oh, yeah. Where is the mechanics? Pavel, you tell me this one. Where's the mechanics? Where's the mechanics? It's uh, 44. It's 44. Give me a location. It's 44. Give me a location word. Uh, 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 mechanic uh, uh, is uh, across from police station. The mechanics is across from the police station. I say mechanics because it's U.S. English. Mechanics is U.S. English. Can I say garage? Of course. I can say garage too because garage is the physical building where they put the car. So I can say garage, but the office is a mechanic's office, just so it's clear. So the right answer is mechanics, but everyone will understand you if you say garage. They may think you mean the garage of your house. So if you want to be clear, you have to say, no, no, the mechanics. I don't mean the garage of my house. Um, we know that there's a park but I'm just curious, um, is there a playground anywhere in this picture? Mabel, do you see a playground anywhere? Play what, sorry? Do you see a playground in this city anywhere? I don't know what's a playground. You don't know what a playground is? No. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a hint. The playground is opposite the park. The playground is opposite the park. Do you see it? Uh, where there is a something for children. That's it. The something for children is a playground. Oh, okay. 
Do you know what we call the thing that the children are on in picture 33? Uh, can you repeat, please? What do we call that object? Ah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> seesaw. Look hmm. in the chat window. Seesaw. That's it. You can call it a seesaw. When I was a kid, we used to call it a teeter tot. I think it's teeter tot. I'm not exactly sure of the spelling. And I don't think I've ever seen that written down. Hold on a second. Yeah, I think it's like this in the chat window. By the way, I'm writing in the in the inside chat, not the Google chat, not the uh, face. Oh, not Facebook. What's it called? Oh, you know what? I spelled seesaw wrong. Yuki, I think you're right. The seesaw. Yeah, I think I spelled it wrong. Yuki's right. It's C like the verb to see. Oh, okay. Seesaw. So, up there, where am I? Up there on 34, you've got a seesaw. Giuseppe, what's to the right of the seesaw? What's to the right of the seesaw? To the right of the seesaw, uh, there is uh, uh, something that uh, that I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> ah, well, tell us what you do at that thing. Tell us what you do there. In 34, tell us what you do. So if you can't describe it, give us an action. What do we do at 34? At 34? Mm, I don't know. Don't tell me it's a symbol for anarchy. It's not. <laughs> it's not the letter A. No, no. Uh, maybe it's a school uh, for children. It could be. Why, why do you think it's a school? What's that object in 34? Next to the seesaw. Do you know what object that is? No, no, no. I'll give you a hint. I'll give you, a hint. you put your butt on it. <laughs> you, you, put your <laughs> you put your butt on it. <laughs> it's something you, it's something you sit on. It's a table. It's a table. It's a table. table. It's a table with a bench built into it. Where would you find a table with a bench built into it? And what would you do there? Where would you find a table with a bench built into it? And what would you do there? Anyone? Anyone? Is that Anyone? a gym? I couldn't hear you, Carmen. Say again. Is that a gym? Oh, I don't know. A, a gym? Yeah. Picnic. It's, For a picnic. It's a, it's a, oh, it's a picnic, picnic place. Oh. It's a picnic table. Picnic table. <laughs> so if, pick them up. if that's the picnic table, it's a picnic area. That's a sign that shows you there's a picnic area next to the playground. There's a picnic area next to the playground. Got it? Wow. Mm -hmm. yep. did, I, did I blow your mind? Yes, you did. <laughs> wow. Yes. All right. I, I thought it did a temple. <laughs> Japanese temple. Do a temple. I said it, it was it, a gym. A gosh. It, it's a pagoda. <laughs> We've got some imagination. Such, such a mark is used to open the map in Japanese map. It, it indicates it, the, the it indicates the temple. <laughs> it is the temple of the golden pavilion from the from the, from the novel by. Who wrote in the Temple of the Golden Pavilion, Yuki? Who is the, the Japanese writer? Do you remember that? Uh, 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 Mishima Yukio? Yukio Mishima. Yeah, yes. That's it. Mishima. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. It's, it's the Temple of the Golden Pavilion. <laughs> Everyone go out and read that book if you haven't read it. Yes, it's a classic. When, you, when Yuki starts to teach Japanese, we're all going to read that novel with him. Right, Yuki? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I started to learn. I started to learn Japanese, and I've been so busy, I haven't done anything in two weeks. But when I learn it, we're going to read that book together. You're going to tell me <laughs> how to say all the words. Oh, just Very tell us one word. How do, you, how do you say temple in Japanese? How do you say temple? Uh, uh, Japanese temple is... Uh, uh, there are two kinds of Japanese temple. One is a Shinto, okay. Shinto shrine. Uh, second, second uh, other, the other is uh, Buddhist temple. Uh, mm -hmm. Shinto shrine is uh, 
very original, uh, only in Japan. It's the traditional Japanese region. Shinto is the traditional Japanese region. Shinto. Uh, yes. And, and, <laughs> and at, at the entrance, at the entrance to the Shinto shrine, there is a gateway made of, mm -hmm. made of woods. It is, it is, it looks like this sign. So, ah. 30, 34? Yeah. Right, 34. Yeah. 34. It, so, such, and a, such a figure, such a, such a, such a, such a figure of entrance, uh, uh, gateway is stand in front, in, in front of the shrine, Shinto shrine in Japan. So, so it, such a sign is used as a, 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 as a, a Japanese Shinto shrine on the map. Very good, very good. Yes. Shinto. Now I know. Yes. Shinto. Shinto shrine. But Shinto is a, is a religion, ain't it? Yes. Shinto. Shinto mm -hmm. is the name of religion. Japanese religion. traditional mm -hmm. religion. And what what's what do you call the actual temple in Japanese? Sorry. What what's the name in Japanese for the temple itself? What's the uh, word temple in Japanese? Jinja. It is it is it is it is it is Shinto shrine. It, it's called Jinja. So Jinjo Shinto, like that? Jinja. Yes, Jinja of Shinto. No, but but if you say Jin Jinja, it 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 means uh, Shinto Shinto shrine. So ah, okay. You you don't need to uh, additional additional explanation. Jinja. Uh, Jinja. 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 Oh, like ninja. <laughs> no, I think the from ninja. <laughs> the ninjas are inside the ninja. Ninja sometimes yes, sometimes hide hide in the in the Shinto shrine. <laughs> oh, I understand. <laughs> Escape this from part. enemy. But I got it. I got but, it. Uh, okay, that was a quick aside for those of you who want to learn Japanese. Uh, but Ahmed has a very important question, which is, what is alongside the police station? 51 is the police station, but what's just to the right of the police station? You're never going to guess this, but does anyone want to try? What's just to the right of the police station? Remember, you're looking at a city block, and the police station is a building. Then there's a kind of a, a, a little alleyway, or perhaps it's a wall. So ah, okay. What, what do we call it? Jail? No, no, no. It's, there's nothing there. There's nothing actually in the space in 52. But there's, um, there's a little alleyway, a little alley. An alley is a tiny street. There's a little alley that goes into the city block and divides an empty lot from the police station. And my question is, what is that little square at the end of the alleyway? That's 52. What is that little square? That square is part of the street, but notice that you once you go in, you can't come out. So it's not a building, it's part of the street. But what do we call it when a street goes into a, a city block and then just... There's no way out. And there's no way out. But that's, that's the French word for that. Which is? Cul-de-sac. Cul-de-sac. And in English, it's called cul-de-sac. Ah, okay. <laughs> cul-de-sac. Cul-de-sac. If you don't want to use the French word, we can say dead end. Uh-oh, okay. I just wrote it wrong. Sorry. I wrote NN. I meant to write dead end. You can say dead end, but everyone will also understand cul-de-sac because we use it all the time. But I guess the official American word is dead end. And the reason why you want to know dead end is because it's a verb. That alley dead ends near the police station. That alley dead ends near the police station. Like this. That alley. Oops. Hold on a second. I'm not able to write. Give me a second. That alley... I'm trying to type, but for some reason it's not letting me type. Give me just a second. Here, that alley dead ends near. I'm just going to write the police. That alley, that alley, dead ends near the police. So there is a cul-de-sac there. 
hold on one more second here because I think uh, the problem is when I have to hang out open my computer is really slow and I get I get a bit stuck so my computer is frozen um, I should also say this Ali Ali is the same as hold on a second Ali is the same as lane like a narrow lane or path mm -hmm. you can also say alleyway like this alleyway is a narrow lane alley alleyway and alleys are things you find in a city you don't really see them in other places because cities are full of these tiny passages between buildings so an alley is usually a passage between a building okay got it clear I, yeah, you can, I, I, I hear that alley, for example, English is my alley. Is what? Is who? What? English is my, English is my alley. Are you saying ally or alley? Alley. Well, you use ally, which is a, a comrade or a friend. You don't mean that, do you? Oh. Like I, when, you have, when you have an alliance with someone, they are your ally. But Ali is a passage or, or a lane. Oh, okay, okay. So it sounds like you heard the other word, ally, which comes from alliance, having a connection, a strategic connection with someone, an ally. Oh, okay. Like, like um, one country, like remember the allied forces in in hmm. in. In the war, we have allied forces and alliance. They are allies. Okay, so uh -huh. someone, someone feeling adventurous. I want you to give us directions from the park to a meeting point. I want you to give us directions from the park to the meeting point. Don't tell us where we're going. Let's see if we get to the right place. Okay, I want you to try it once on your own. I'm not even going to help you. I just want to see. I think you're all quite advanced, so I'm not going to help you with this. I want to hear you give us directions. We're meeting at the park, 41, and you want to get us to another place at a certain time. Okay, so who's feeling adventurous? You know what? I have not heard Emmanuel almost the whole class. Emmanuel, are you there? Yes, yes. Emmanuel? Pick a spot where you want us to meet you. Don't tell us where it is, but give us directions from the park. And let's see if we get to it. Are you ready? Okay. Go for it. Um, so, uh, we, can, we can meet in front of the gas station. Oh, you're telling us the location. No, don't tell oh, us no, the location. Sorry. The let, me give you an, let, let, let me give you an example. From the park, you go down the street and, uh, take okay. your, and take your first left, and then we'll meet in front of that building. Where am I, Emmanuel? From the park, you go down the street, take your first left, and we're going to meet at that building on the corner. Where do you think I am? Uh, Where do you think I am? In the city block, near the city block. Mm, but I remember I said take your first left, not your first. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah, hang on a second. Yeah, yeah. Take your first left. If I go, if I go down the street from the park yeah. at 41, then that means that the city block is on my right. Okay. There is so, the the bank to the bank, to right? The bank. Okay. So that's an easy one. Give <clears> me another one, but don't tell us where we're going to end up. Let's see if we can figure it out. Okay. Um, from the park, what do we do? From the park, you have to uh, to go down and take the, the from right. The park, from the park, go down the, the the street. From the park, go down the street and take the first right. Take the first right. Got it. And go straight. Go straight ahead. Straight ahead uh -huh. and. Uh, on the on the right side of the street, and we'll find you on the right side of the street. Is that it? Let me see if I got this straight. From the park, go down the street, take your first right, 
and continue straight ahead for one block. Yeah. And we'll see you on the right side on of the, the street. On the right side of the street. Fantastic. Where are we? Who's got it? Pavel, do you know where we are? Where are we where are we gonna find Emmanuel Pavel? <coughs> Uh, right, uh, right side of the street, maybe a uh, restaurant or uh, higher uh, dresser shops, shop. Well, I think your first guess was right, but it's not a restaurant. It's a coffee shop. Oh, that's a coffee shop. shop. You have to cross uh, the, first, uh, the first building, the, f the first block. Yeah, so... The restaurant is directly across from the park, but we're going down one block. When I say down in a city, that just means away. It's a quick way of saying away. Down just means away if you're on a level ground. Pavel, I think you're correct. We're meeting Emmanuel at the coffee shop. Okay. Pavel, from the coffee shop, give us directions to another place, okay? Uh, Don't tell us where we're going to end up. Let's see if we can figure uh, it out. I, I uh, go up uh, from uh, coffee shop. Go up from the coffee shop, okay. Uh, and uh, uh, take uh, left. Take the first left. Uh, take uh, the first left. Okay. And, uh, go ahead. Okay. Uh, so let me see. Take uh, take. You say from 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 the coffee shop, go up and take your first left and go straight ahead, right? Yes. Okay. Good. And uh, take uh, left uh, on the corner. <laughs> I'm off the map already, Pavel. <laughs> I left. I left the map, so I don't know where you are. Listen. Okay. Uh, and, uh, um, uh, maybe maybe see, we have a maybe we have a different idea about what up means because if I go up from the coffee shop and I take my first left, uh, I'm already at. Uh, uh, hold on a second, I'll tell you where I'm at. I'm already at the school, so I don't think you mean the school. I'm already up there at 31. If I go up from the coffee shop and take a left, I'm at the school 31. Okay. So maybe you don't mean up. I have to uh, take uh, uh, first uh, uh, right. Ah, okay. Go up from the coffee shop, take um, the first right, okay? Okay, and uh, go uh, ahead. Okay, and go straight ahead. Straight ahead. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, on the uh, left of uh, the road. And and it's on the left it side of the road. On the left side of the road. Fantastic. Who wants it? Who wants this one? Uh-oh. Pavel, no one knows where we are. <laughs> <laughs> I know where we are. Really? Ahmed? Emmanuel? Giuseppe? No one knows where we are? See, so we are... Uh... Close to the CISO. Okay. Giuseppe says CISO. Ahmed says it's the... What is 32? 32 is the hotel. This hotel. Pavel, are we at the hotel or are we at the, the playground? Uh, hotel. We're at I the hotel. Ahmed hotel. got it right. Ahmed got it right. <laughs> they were close. So it wasn't clear... I wasn't. I thought we were at the playground as well, because I thought we were on the right side of the street, but we're on the left. Okay, Ahmed, last one. Uh, you're going to have to write in the chat window. So give us directions in the chat window, okay? While you're writing, it's going to take you a minute. So while you're writing, let me get one more speaker. Um, let me see. It doesn't matter. One more volunteer to speak while Ahmed is writing his directions. And then we're going to have to stop because I have another class. I have to go soon. But one more speaker. Who wants it? Mabel? Yuki? Giuseppe? Who wants it? Go for it, Yuki. Ahmed, keep writing. 
Uh, where, where is he keeping? Ah, uh, right, uh, writing. In bubbling chat or what? He's writing in the in the Google Google chat. Hang, uh, Google chat. Yeah. Okay. Okay, but go ahead, Yuki. While he's writing, you give us one more. From uh, the playground now. From the from the sorry from the hotel from the hotel. I can't see. He's writing message. Uh, but he's not finished. So Yuki, you give us directions from the hotel to another location. From another location, I can say freely. Or, uh, say, say again. Uh, 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 I Go speak. Speak. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, any any place. Okay. Choose freely. From hotel to uh, okay, another place. Okay. Okay. Uh, so uh, I'll go out from hotel and. Wait. Give us directions. Give us directions. So you. Uh, from the hotel, from the hotel, where do we go? From the hotel, go right, go left, go down, go up. From the hotel, what? You from you from a hotel. Uh, you you go down the street. Uh, you go down. Mm, okay. Go, go down the street you, from the hotel. Okay. You take a left. Uh, uh, you you turn a left and go down. Go down the street. Uh, to the south. <laughs> sorry, and uh, uh, straight go. Uh, <laughs> uh, you are sorry. Yeah. Uh, you are from hotel. Uh, turn, uh, and you go to the to the right. Uh, you um, to right uh, straight to right right down the street. Oh, uh, look. UK, I'm lost. Hold on. Sorry. I'm lost. I'm lost. Hold on a second. Let me see if I understand. From uh, the hotel, you are you are standing. You are standing go in front of the Down the hotel. street. Uh, right. You go, okay. You go Next. to the. You go to the left. Uh, you, sorry. You go to the right. <laughs> sorry. You go to the right. You go to. Um, um, Go, okay, you go right. You go you right. Go right. You go right and go straight. Uh, go straight on the street. Go straight. You can say down because down uh, means away. So go, go straight down the street. Go go down the street. Uh, go down the street. Okay. And uh, and uh, in the first uh, in the first uh, crossroad. Mm -hmm. Uh, turn turn the left. Okay. And and go down the street. Uh, okay. And keep the, keep going down the street keep, now. Keep going down the street. Uh, okay. And and go across the first street. Mm -hmm. Cross and, the first street you come to. Okay. And in 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 second street you um, you go you you um, take a turn to the left. Okay. Take a left, okay. And in the in the corner, in the first in the in the first crossroad, on the corner, on the corner, on the corner, and on the right side of the street, you can see uh, okay. the the building. Okay, great. So let me see if I got this straight. Okay, let me repeat. So listen very carefully, Yuki. Yes. Leave the hotel. To the right, okay. go straight down the street and take your first <clears throat> left at the crossroad you come to. Take your first left, then continue down two city blocks until you get to the building on the corner on the left side. Is that right? Yes. Am I right? So we're at right. number forty-four, right? Right. Yes, I guessed it. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I mean that thirty-six. <laughs> thirty-six. Yes, I oh, said. Oh, I missed the block. I, oh, I okay. said turn the left and first uh, and, and at, at the at the first uh, crossroad uh, on the corner, you 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 will find the building. It, oh, it the first 36. crossroad. The first crossroad on the left after uh, after the, you make the on left. On the right of the road. Oh, okay. Uh, on the right of the street. I screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One last one, then we're going to stop. Ahmed wrote, 
I am by the hotel right now. Okay, Ahmed. Go right through the street until you face uh, until you face a block. Uh, it's clear. It's fine. Hold on. Go. I'm by the hotel right now. Go right through the street until you end up facing a block right in front of you. So let me see. Go right through the street. Got it. Until you end up facing a block. Hmm. Okay. Could be. Um, nope, it's not clear. <laughs> no, I don't understand. <laughs> because because I, I can. there's a lot of blocks. That's why I'm not sure which one you mean. If I leave the hotel to the right, and I and I go, if I if I go, because this says go right through the street. Thirty-five. Oh, okay, so listen, this is what I would say then: leave the hotel and go straight ahead, one city block. Leave the hotel and go straight ahead, one city block. If I do that, where do I end up, Mabel? If I leave the hotel, go straight ahead, one city block. I run directly into what, Mabel? I don't hear Mabel. Pavel, what do I? Oh, there's Mabel. There's Mabel. What do I run into? I'm thinking. Uh... Leave the hotel, go straight ahead, one city block, and we run directly into. Uh, forty-four. Nope. Forty-four. Where is forty-four? I don't even see 44. Where is 44? Oh, wait a second. We left the hotel. Hotel is 32. Mabel? 36. Right? No, 36? No. Where is 36? 36 is the hospital, Mabel. Hi, hi. I see an H. I said hotel. <laughs> oh, no, no. Hospital. Hospital. That's why it's shaped like a, like a big L, because it's like a hospital with two wings. Okay. If we're at 32, okay. if we're at 32, and we we leave the hotel, we go straight ahead one city block. What do we run into, Mabel? And uh, I, I, I see the Yujiko. <laughs> okay, now. Give us, give us the number. We leave uh, the hotel, go straight 40. ahead one city block. Um, 40. No. <laughs> Courtier. Yuki. Yes. Yuki. We leave the hotel. We go yes. straight ahead without turning. One city block. We mm. run directly into the. Uh, it the uh, post office. No. The post office. That's yes. right. Thirty-five. Mabel, do you see where the post office is? Mm. Number thirty-five. Yeah. Yeah. It's now I can see. It's straight ahead from number 32, the hotel. It's straight ahead. Ah, okay. I go down. All right. I well, listen, everyone. We've got to stop now because I have a class. I have to, I have to go, unfortunately. Um, I haven't had time to update the vocabulary, but I promise that I will, or I'll have my trusty assistant do it. I'm not sure. And the vocabulary will be on, I think it's page two of your notes where it says word list, but it's not updated now. I've got a lot of vocabulary to add. I will try to put in these direction words as well so that we can get a little more practice with directions in the next class. But so far, we've learned lots of good vocabulary for the city, lots of good direction words. You've had a little bit of practice giving directions. So maybe in the next class, we can take it a step further and give directions from a place in your city or place of residence to something that you want us to see. You can give us directions and describe the route a little bit. And then maybe even show us a picture so we can see what it looks like. So in the next class, we're going to be giving directions about an actual place where you live or know about. That could be interesting to know a little bit about uh, where you live and the culture and talk about it a bit. Plus, you'll practice your descriptive skills. Before I go, if you want to get in touch with me, all of my links are in the Verbling chat window. Verbling, Google+, Plus, Twitter, Facebook, enough. Drop a line if you have any questions or comments. And I will see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. GMT for the next in the Great Short Story series, Faulkner's Barn Burning Part 6. And after that, at 10 GMT, um, the business class, Part 4 of How to Talk About Facilities. 
Bye for now, everyone. Have a good day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care. See you. See you.